Good morning, Chigang. Good morning, good morning. Right, I'm in the right place. Yes, good morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome, Monday morning, Chigang. We're all here. Everybody's ready. I'm on time. Bang on time. I bet Jules won't be there yet. She'll be like, oh my God, she actually managed to tune in at eight o'clock in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Please make sure you have windows open. The only reason I don't open that door is because my poor neighbours will wonder what on earth is going on. Good morning. Last day in London for me. I've got QVC later today. Hour long show, by the way, if anyone's interested. Um, at three o'clock this afternoon, hour long QVC takeover. Woo! Well, I'll be talking all about Hey You. Right. Whilst we're waiting for everyone to join, just start shaking. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's just do some nice little shakes. I'm gonna be even more. Good morning, Tink Good morning, Jules. You see, you weren't expecting me the way you. You weren't expecting me right on air at eight o'clock. Right, we're gonna do just a nice gentle shaking to start. Whilst I'm, oh, thank you. Yeah, do watch everyone, it's good fun. <laughs> Often they take in messages as well, so that's always quite good fun as well. They ask people for their opinions on the products. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Catherine. Good morning, Jules. Just shake whilst we wait for everyone to join in the class. Now, there's a lot of people I noticed over the weekend because I was reading loads of the messages and we have a huge variety of people coming into this feed. Okay, we have people who are recovering from major surgery. We have people who are having chemotherapy. We have people who are going through really awful phases in their life right now where horrendous things are going on and they're emotionally completely distraught and they're using this class kind of, you know, like a lifeline as much as anything because it gives them a sense of community and a sense of positivity and healing. And then from that group, we have all the way over to the other extreme where people are looking to this class as their exercise for the day. So it's got to compete with like Barry's boot camp and Bikram Yoga and Soul Cycle and all of these other things out there where you're leaping around and burning loads of calories. So somehow or other, uh, Jules and I have got to kind of create a sort of middle ground between all of that. So the way I'm going to do that is to make sure that I am going to make sure that this class is as dynamic as it can be for those that need it to be super dynamic. I'm also going to make it to be as informative as I can possibly have it. So today's topic is HRT uh, and tomorrow is fibromyalgia, by the way, because somebody was asking me about that over the weekend. And but equally, I need to allow it to be as sensitive and as tender as it needs to be so that the people who right now are in bed and are just thinking, I can't even get up and do this class, I'm just gonna watch it on my phone, that somehow or other, we can get to those to, to you as well and get this to the, be the benefit. So the way I'm gonna do this is to ask you to use your common sense, okay? You know where you are between here and here. Here is one extreme and here is the other. So wherever you are in your journey, it's okay. And what we do is if you're down at this end, okay, this is where you need to use the breath and the vibrations and the sounds and the mind, okay? This is where when we're talking about the out breath, <sighs> okay, the vibrations, the healing sounds, the dynamic sounds. You don't have to be doing all the crazy moves that we're gonna be doing, okay? But what you do need to use is use your diaphragm, which is the muscle here, and really intend to get those vibrations out. When we're doing the dynamic sounds, you can lie, try and lie on your right hand side, okay? So that when you're doing the sounds, you're kind of going, shh, like that, so that you're really trying to push things out of the body. And that's okay to do that lying or even sitting down. If you find that you can do part of the class, then just shake gently. If you can stand up whilst we're shaking like crazy, just shake gently, okay? Whilst we're tapping furiously, use your fingertips, okay? Whilst we're really dynamically moving out the sounds, go as far as you can go, go into this process. And this is how I can make this class work for absolutely everybody, okay? Because if, if you are just working with these exercises, they are basically the same sequence every day, but it's the, it's the intensity that you're giving them, okay? So the, you, the, the more you're over this end, the more breath you've got to do. The more you're over this end, guys, if this is, if this is your Barry's Bootcamp equivalent and you're wanting to get your like exercise in for the day, then we are gonna stomp, okay? We're gonna poof, poof, <laughs> okay, we're gonna push, push, okay, we're gonna be really dynamic, okay, we're gonna really shake. So today, because it's Monday, and most of us tend to do most of the damage at the weekends, I certainly do, um, we're gonna be super, super dynamic, okay? So, without further ado, okay, everybody that's not feeling too great right now, hopefully you know what you need to do. You need to lie on your right-hand side or sit up and make sure that you're comfortable and just shake and tap gently and breathe, okay? These are all the breathing exercises you can do. So. Without further ado, let's breathe in. 
Breathe in. People lying down, make sure you stick it down into the ground, okay? Get as if you're being sick. Get rid, okay? We want to get rid. Right side, because that's where your liver is. Breathe in. Breathe out. Right. Now we're going to shake. Now, shake. You can really shake, shake, shake. You want to shake. Shake like crazy. Shake, 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 shake. Dynamic shaking, please. Shake, 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 shake. We're going to get it all out of your body. Breathe. Shake. Shake gently. If you can't go this vigorously, we're going to shake. How hard can you shake? Breathe. Breathe. Shake. Really shake. It's hard, right? Breathe. One more. Shake. Really shake. All right. Now just a gentle shake. Get into your middle. Ooh. You see how dynamic this can get? I was practicing it over the weekend thinking, my God! Oh, <laughs> okay, and shake the top, just shake, this is so good for you, just shake the top, shake, 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 Just slough off any excess of the weekend. Get it around the middle. Shake as vigorously as you can. Shake, shake. Shake, woo. Shake, all right. Can you feel how already that's really starting to get everything moving? It's such a simple exercise, but it's so intense. And this is the thing with these exercises, you can really get them. Mm, breathe. Remember, now we've got that breath going. You're breathing here, down into the lower jowl, down. This is the dantian, this is where we're breathing. Everybody breathe here, if you're lying down, You breathe in to where I'm tapping, the lower dantian. And you smile as you breathe out. This is, this is the smiling breath, the Chinese inner smile. It's a massive exercise. We're gonna shift the body, okay? We've gotta purge and nourish. We've gotta get rid of things that just settled in your body, either yesterday or Sunday. Yesterday or Sunday, sorry. Yesterday, Saturday, last Friday. We finished off Friday morning, we had the whole weekend to be in our lower cells. Not to mention however many years of life that we've been accumulating anger and frustration, frustration and resentment, worry, fear, anxiety gets stored in the body. If we don't get rid of it, we're going to get rid of it now. We're going to start with tapping. We're going to keep the shaking going. We're going to tap, use your hands. Breathe out, ready, hang on, ready, go. <sighs> Breathe. <sighs> Breathe. So HRT, let me just do the topic whilst we're just in the slightly less dynamic. We're gonna get more dynamic in a second. So a lot of people ask about HRT because of course menopause is a massive topic. Use your tappers, guys, if you've got a tapper. I'll just use my hands, otherwise you won't hear me. If you have a tapper, just use your tapper now whilst I'm talking to you. So, the thing about the menopause, um, I have to first of all talk about with HRT, is 
that we are not in contradiction to Western medicine. So everything we tell you, you have to do in relationship to your GP. So I'm not going to tell you not to take HRT, because if that's the programme that you're on, and you want to do that, and your GP is happy with that, then that is the course of action. It's not for me to contraindicate that. But from a Yang Sheng perspective, which is where sort of Western medicine's over here, we're kind of over here coming in this way, then the, the, the thing about HRT is whilst it's going to suppress the symptoms, the problem with it is it's kind of tricking the body into thinking that the hormone levels of, of uh, progesterone and estrogen are higher than they should be given that you're going through the menopause. And really what we want, and that's not really good because the thing is when your um, sex hormones are being produced in the ovaries, um, that's kind of what the body designed to do. But when you go to the menopause, those, the production of those hormones goes to the kidneys. And you see, the problem with the kidneys is that they're responsible for the aging process. And the thing is, the body gets rid of the fertility process um, when it gets, often when it gets stressed, and also as part of the aging process, because the body has two functions in life. One, keep you alive. Two, procreate. And if um, there's a problem with one, it will sacrifice two, okay? So it doesn't want you procreating into your 60s and 70s because it's detrimental to your own life. That's why you have a cycle of kind of 30 years where the reproductive system's in place. And indeed why so many people have so many problems with fertility when they're really stressed. And that's one of the big issues of modern living, which is when we do fertility, that's often what we're looking at. So the problem with HRT is that it's mimicking the body into thinking that it's fertile. And that's tiring for the body and from a long-term perspective on the kidneys, not great, okay? And the other problem is that what's happening is the reason you're taking these hormones in the first place is because often the symptoms of the menopause are so unbearable that you've got to do something about it. But you see from a Yang Sheng perspective, there's a lot we can do. One of the main issues that we've got is that the body is very stressed. And when the body has all sorts of ways of getting stress out of itself, okay? And one of them is through the menstrual flow. Because all this heat that accumulates in the body from the stress response, because everything's going like this, it, it stores it in the uterus. And then when you get your period, it gets rid of it. And of course, when the periods stop, the body then has to get rid of this heat in another way. And often that's through the skin and through these violent sweats or the body gets very dry and hot, which is why you get brittle bones, and then you get all the dryness symptoms of the menopause. So the key, as well as taking your HRT, and then looking at some alternative things to go as well as, is of course to hook into what we're doing. So do the Qigong, do the meditation, do the healing sounds, listen to Jasmine's healing, singing lunchtime soundscape, and really get into these alternative practices, okay? Really get into clearing the heat out of the body. Use gua sha, use the body restore on the chest, use the tapper, use the breathing techniques. And that's really, that's my tuppence worth on HRT. Let me just use my tapper now on that basis. So that's really what the problem is. So let's just tap. There will be a fact sheet on the menopause. It's coming. There will also be master classes on everything starting, I think, in September. So I'm going to be on the school holidays soon, so I'm not going to be, it's going to be in a slightly different timetable for the next six weeks because of my children, otherwise they won't see me. Don't worry, we'll still be doing a lot of things, but all these masterclasses will start in September. Right, use your tapper. Jules, I know, is there. She's a bit of an expert on menopause. Jules can help as well. She knows a lot about all this because she's worked on all the fact sheets with me. But basically, that's the thing. The trick is that you want to get to the point where you don't need to take it. That's the point. Okay, that we've got to look at what's going on with the body and say, why is the body doing what it's doing? Why is it giving me these symptoms and what do I do about it? You've got to get that stress response under control. You've got to nourish your yin and you've got to clear heat. So look at the kidney fact sheet because that tells you everything. The key thing for nourishing yin is qigong and meditation and sound therapy. Okay, and ear massage, which we're going to do in a minute. But Jasmine soundscapes, they're amazing. I do them literally every single day. They're amazing. She's brilliant. And gua sha, body combing, so good for you. If you're getting a hot flush, control the breath, okay? Spend half an hour every after, have a rest, sometime between three and five o'clock, even if it's just 20 minutes. And breathe and tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 now tap vigorously, okay? If you're looking for this to be more of an exercise class and you're needing your exercise boost, then really, be, be quite assertive if you're tapping. If you're lying in bed, then you can lift up a tapper. Tap yourself really gently, okay? If you don't have one, use your fingertips. All over the body. Why? Because we're dislodging 
things which have settled in the muscle systems and the lymphatics. We're getting the circulation. We're working with the principles of your body. Purge and nourish. And the free flow of chi and blood around the body. This is what we're doing in this class. This is why it works so well. And we know it works well because you keep emailing us and telling us your success stories. Mine too. I'm delighted. I took my kids shopping yesterday because I had to get them a load of stuff for the summer. And even, even, even I noticed when I was trying to stuff on the machine, I was like, oh my God, this glass is working for me. This is fantastic. Right. Tap, 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 tap. Breathe. Let's get the dynamic going now. We've done the lesson for the day. Breathe in. Good. Breathe in. Okay. Right. Shake again. Shake. Really vigorous. Shake. 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 Mind your pelvic floors, ladies. Shake. Shake. Shake vigorously. Shake, 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 Keep going, shape. There. Right, drum. Okay. Are we ready for crazy people? It's your birthday today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Right. So, let's get drumming. We're going to now. This is where we do crazy people. Everyone new to the class today. This is the crazy bit where we're going to turn into kind of warriors, okay? Because what we've got to do is we've got to really actively purge out things which are stuck. The organs are responsible for everything in our body. Everything inside the body, our emotions, our feelings, our fat cells, our wobbly bits, our rubbishy feelings, feeling right now that you can't move. We've got to get anything stuck out of that body. And we're going to do it really dynamically. We're going to make stupid noises. And you're going to watch me go completely crazy. But it doesn't matter because we're going to do it. After we've done this, we start going to more to the nourishing side of the class. It's literally half an hour of each. So, crazy people, we want to start stamping, 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 and breathe. And we're going to start thinking about everything that's pissed you off over the weekend, anything that took you down into your lower self, anything that upset you, anyone that's upset you, any situations where you feel stuck or blocked or desperate or upset and you're crying, that's okay. You're in a safe place, you can cry, you can laugh. You can do whatever you want to do. We're going to go nuts. We're going to go crazy. And I'm leading the charge. So, ready, stamp, stamp. Boom, 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 boom. I'm going to get drunk soon. Breathe. Stamp your feet. Stamp your feet. Right, we're going to your chest. Make it dynamic. Doesn't matter what you look like. No one can feel as stupid as me right now. Go for it. Anything that's stuck, anything that's hurt you, any grief, any loss. We're making way for gratitude and courage. So get rid of anything. Get rid, get rid. well just tap gently okay and lie in bed and cry do whatever you need to do we're purging everything's good Jules will support you Catherine's there too come on Breathe in. 
of it. Ready? Stamp your feet. Stamp, stamp. Boom, 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 boom. My bomb bombs, by the way, is the tribal drum, okay? Boom, 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 boom. Because that's what we'd be doing back in the day if we were actually doing a healing ceremony. So I'm having to do it and make it up as I go along down, down, down Instagram, but it will do the trick. So, boom, 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 boom. We're going for the spleen. Anyone that's destroyed your trust, upset you, worries, worries, financial worries, worries about your life, not sure of the path of which you're going to go forwards, go to your left, your left, your spleen, your left. Go for it, come on, be monkeys. space in the body we're clearing out our wardrobe okay we're getting it decluttered so that we can pull in all the gorgeous stuff that's why we're making such crazy noises breathe in <sighs> okay liver you're right your liver you're right massive organ right this is a biggie anger frustration resentment anyone pissed you off ever in your whole life and you're hard you're harboring that resentment and you're seething come on we're going to get rid of it the only person that's hurting is you okay you've got to get rid of these negative emotions so that we can fill it with kindness and compassion and you know what before we start worrying about anybody else this is kindness and compassion for you okay kindness for you the number of patients they're so horrible to themselves we're not having that in this class we're going to be lovely to ourselves and to each other but above all to yourself first so come on ready stomp it out let it go Breathe in. Okay. Right. Ready? Can you feel how aerated you're starting to feel? We're doing this crazy stuff on purpose, okay? Hold your kidneys there on your back just here. We're not squid splashing our kidneys, okay? They go, they go gently. I'm going to bring it through to the front. So we're going to think about anything that's frightened us, whether it's a situation or a person. We're going to let go. It's served us well, but we have to make room for wisdom and divinity. So, ready? Ready? Stomp, 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 stomp. Go down. Bend. Breathe in. Breathe in. Okay. Final, right, the other side of the fire. We're going up and down our sides. This is again, pain in the heart. We've got to make room for some joy. We're going to get rid of anxiety. So, ready? And, he, he, Right, okay. Mm, breathe. Check in. Ooh, hello. Do we feel like we've just sloughed off a whole load of weekend stuff? Okay. Mm, breathe, breathe. Mm, breathe. Shake again. Just get some shaking before we're going to come in now with the laughter. We're making space. This is like we're going from Yorkies to arrows, guys. Oh, Jules, that's a good one. Yorkies to arrows. <laughs> I'd like a picture of the end of a Yorkie and the end of an arrow, please. And you can see the difference between the two. This is what we're aiming for. Arrows, folks. Okay, we've got to create the space and then we can push it through with the best thing for endorphins. Okay, so release. One last chance. Come on, release. Release. Shake. 
shake, shake, and drum, right, okay, Kelly, are we ready with the timer? Because the first thing, folks, anyone new to this class that we're going to do with this lovely newfound space in our bodies is we're going to fill it with laughter, okay? Don't worry if you can't do it, don't worry if it makes you cry, just go for it. So, ready with the timer? Thank you, Kelly, let's go. <laughs> I'm going to have to have a bit quietly today, I'm in my flat. <laughs> but push the intensity down into here. <laughs> <laughs> if you're lying in bed don't worry just laugh and sob and just <laughs> try okay <laughs> get that energy in here <laughs> Okay, one minute up. Oh, woof, goodness me. Okay, so the thing about laughter is that it strengthens the immune system for 24 hours. How brilliant is that? So we do it every single day because with all this space that we created from doing these crazy sounds, okay, we're now filling it with endorphins and now we're going to start filling it with really intense healing vibration. Okay, so that's the first half of the class. So you should feel your chi is going like this. It's like we've dug up the soil in, the, in your garden and we're now starting to nourish. So now, anybody not feeling too good, this is going to be very easy for you. Lie so that you can gently tap okay we're gonna fill the spaces with really healing vibrations first time and you love it yay I know it's great isn't it? it's the best exercise ever honestly you don't need to do anything else just do your 10,000 steps if you can and this will do the trick I promise okay that's my job that's why I've tweaked it anyone who was an early adopter you'll see how far we've come from the beginning Okay, now for the rest of the class, please breathe down into the lower belly, the dantian. This is the smiling breath. So for everything now, breathe. This is about gratitude, the high virtue of the lungs. We've let go of grief. We're replacing with gratitude. So be grateful for everything. Try and make today a day where you actively are grateful for everything that comes into your day, okay? This is the practice, why we do it every day. Breathe. Go to your heart. This is about joy and universal love. But above all, before you start worrying about everybody else, this is about the joy in your heart for your life, okay? Your heart, your heart, your joy. We start with yourselves. Breathe in. Ah. Don't forget farting, Jules. We like a good fart as well. <laughs> Ah. Ah. Go to your left, your spleen, your left. This is about trust and integrity and the path of righteousness and talking to all of you here the right path is not the easy path okay if i'm taught if you're hearing that and thinking oh my god you've just described my life i know the right path is not the easy path 
and this is a very big misconception in the modern life where it's all about ease and comfort. It does not bring you joy. The right path brings you joy, the path of integrity. This is what makes the body happy. This is what makes your soul happy. And the harder the path, the greater the spiritual upside. And this is what we're working towards. And this is why we're in a community to support each other. So tap your left hand side and think about trust and integrity, which is what you have. Breathe in. This is why we're together doing this. We'll help each other on the right path. Whoa. Yeah, we're doing our first live on Wednesday. I'm not allowed to see the notes in advance. It's going to be absolutely off the cuff. I can't wait. Whoa. Go to your right hand side, this is your liver, this is now about kindness, compassion, forgiveness, above all kindness to yourself, not worrying about anybody else please, this is about you, okay, let's be kind to ourselves first because most people are not, so ready, breathe in. your kidneys on your back this is about wisdom this is about the wisdom of the soul okay we've got rid of fear we're replacing it with wisdom because we learn from everything that we've been frightened of in the past but we can let go of those patterns and bring in wisdom now breathe in And then go to the other side of the fire, which is basically your body's communication systems. Okay, so this is all about joy and happiness and love. He Hook those sounds back in. Use your two fingers if you don't. Just hold and breathe and smile. 
Okay. MJ, about your hair. I'm worrying you're doing it too hard. If this, if it's falling, I would be tapping to start with, and just comb like do a small amount first, okay? Just to see what's going on. I need to have a look. Can you send me a photo and let me have a look and see what's going on? And you need to done as Jules said the kidney fact sheet, please. But let me let send us a photo so we can see what's going on there, please, because that shouldn't be happening. There, right, so now we've got the beautiful vibrations into the body. What we've now done in the first half of this class is we've absolutely, we've purged out a whole load of stuff we don't need. We've made space. We've brought in endorphins from the laughter. We're smiling deep oxygenated blood into the body. And now we've tuned up the body like a violin with these high vibrations. It pulls you upwards, okay? And now the trick, <laughs> is to move all of that amazing energy into every single cell of the body, which is what we're going to do now. So if you're feeling that you can stand up and that you're strong enough, this next bit of the class is very, very soft and slow, okay? So just give yourself some room. Stand now with your feet shoulder width apart. We're just going to stretch and breathe. Close your eyes if you can. For people looking for the dynamic end of this, where they're looking for an exercise class, this is where really pull in your tummy, okay? Really work your muscles slowly. Breathe, it's not about leaping about, okay? The body creates a lovely sculpted definition from slow, deliberate movements where you're stretching the muscles. You're simultaneously allowing this lovely energy that we've made go into every nook and cranny of the body. The tighter you tone your muscles, pull up your legs, pull in your stomach, feel your muscles, check into your inner world. Breathe.
come to center, feet together, pull everything in, breathe in, stretch, breathe in, lift, up onto tiptoes, really stretch, breathe out, again to be dynamic you need to pull up the leg muscles, pull up the thighs, make them tight, make those thighs tight, put in the tummy, breathe in, stretch the arms, breathe out, keep those legs tight, this is giving them really strong definition, slow the breath. If you can't do the breath the way I'm showing you, breathe in as you go up. Breathe out as you come down. This is what you're aiming for. Exercise people, keep those muscles tight. Breathe in. Those legs should feel like a cobra tail. Breathe in. Breathe out. Smile. Breathe in. Breathe out. Tummy in, legs tight. If you're not feeling well, if you can try and do this exercise, this is a good one, even if you're sitting and just do the top bit. This is bringing that lovely vibrating energy into every cell of the body, into the nervous system. This strengthens the kidneys. Breathe in. And smile, breathe, pull your bodies in, keep them strong, breathe in. First, breathe in. And stretch, smile, breathe. Keep your legs strong, breathe in.
Now follow my hands. As my hands expand, I want you to keep breathing. Everybody needs to do this. The more gentle you need to go to the class, the more you need to work with the breath. So start to breathe in with me now. Breathe in. And out. Hold your legs tight. Breathe in. Breathe in. And out. Take your hands to prayer. Have your hands at right angles. Put your hip to one side. Pull in your tummy. And swim. Your dragon arms. Really pull your tummy in. Really notice your muscles working. And breathe. This exercise is incredibly good for your kidneys. The fascia, the joints, the muscles. It gives you a beautiful waist. Lovely legs. This exercise is basically amazing, but you've got to work it. So pull your tummy in. Don't just fanny about really move your muscles okay as if you're swimming against a current really stress the emphasis on the muscles and breathe and smile and swim down you should feel it now on the backs of the thighs swim swim the dragon this is the best exercise this one and the next one this is what we're after. Jules, do put up Aaron's hook. If anyone's interested in what we're doing here, this is the first step into the journey of Qigong. It's amazing, but there's more to it. There's another sequence that you add to this class after this that I suggest you do it at night. And my lovely friend Aaron teaches it. It's called the Twelve Rivers. Each organ of the body has a river of energy that flows through it. It's more specific. What I'm doing with you is the general, which is extremely powerful, in its own right, up onto tiptoes. And down. Uh, but the next level, you want to start working each organ of the body. It's going to strengthen you up. One marble at a time going into your jar. By the time that jar's got about 100 marbles in it, you're going to feel very different to when you started. Breathe.
if you need to sit down, that's totally okay. Do this exercise sitting down and just work this middle bit that I'm doing here. This will help, okay? Do it slowly, breathe, smile. Really slow it down. You do not have to be bounding around on a treadmill to get exercise, okay? You don't. These exercises work. You only need to read the testimonials of all the hundreds of people who've been doing this to say, I can't believe it. And I know I couldn't believe it either. I was like, really? After all this time, no one's been doing this? How can it be that we are rediscovering something so brilliant? How did we forget this? The answer is, I don't know. It's insane, but never mind. I rediscovered it, so it's okay. So we have it now. All we have to do is get up and join our community. Breathe. Breathe. Now there's a little extra one we're going to do now. You can see my camera. A bit of ear massaging. Yes, hang on. All right. This is a, sorry, I'm looking a complete mess today, but never mind. It's because I've got QVC later, so I've got all the, the hair people come and have a go at me. Right, so just get your ears, breathe. Ear massaging, so good for the kidneys. Everybody needs to look after their kidneys. They are completely walloped by the stress response. Close your eyes, or if you just look at what I'm doing. Breathe, massage. One more exercise after this. Get rid of that. And the front. Breathe. We've got channels around here. So good for you. This literally is strengthening your kidneys as we're doing this. This is good for the aging process. Our faces, our lines, our bodies, our stress response. Right, smile, breathe. Let's just do breathing in, breathe, follow my hands. Everybody needs to do this one, breathe in. And out. Breathe in. I know, I've just said, I, I, I dread to think, Jules, what are you doing? When, honestly, I can't not look at this screen for a second, can I? There's me trying to take us all into meditation. What are you talking about? Right, breathe in. And out. Right, now, take your two crystals. Well, let me tell you, my dirty chais, if this is what we're on about, I'm absolutely obsessed with my dirty chai. so thank you so much. Um, Jules, can you put Mira's hook up again up, uh, since we're talking about chai, please? Because um, I'm obsessed with her chai. She sent me one and it's absolutely delicious. I'm now having it every single day, which is really bad because I used to drink coffee about once in a blue moon. It is decaf in fairness, but it's yummy. I had it again last night. It seems to stop me needing, craving anything sweet. Right, now breathe. It was delicious, the one she sent me. Spicy sweet, I think it was, I don't know. I know I'm about 20 years late 
joining the Chai Revolution. So thank you, Mira, for sending that to me because it's changed my life. Literally, I always get that kind of gnawing feeling at the end of a meal because I want something sweet, but the problem is sugar or anything sweet is a disaster for my body. I'm very spleeny. And the minute I have sugar, it just, oh my goodness, it's just a nightmare. So I have to cut it out. Otherwise, it's just a nightmare. But that powder you sent, which was so kind of you, because you wouldn't have known that, so I don't know how you knew that was the one that I needed. So thank you. Anyway, I just, it was Jules came out. I said, come on, try it. I said, oh, I don't know what to have it in. I don't like milk and I don't eat porridge. So what am I going to do? So we tried the dirty chai. I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. So now I've got to send someone to your cafe, which I'm hoping is open because we're going away at the weekend and I need, I'm going away with the children. And uh, well, I've got to take it with me now. Breathe, stretch, really reach back, reach. You should feel it in your abdomen as well, reach. Reach. This really gets the backs of the arms. Have you got bingo wings? This is the exercise. It's, it's because you're keeping the wrist upright. Sorry, the palm upright there. This is why it works, reach. There. Now this bit, this is the back of the arm. Right there where you need it, reach. Better than any dumbbell. And of course it's working the joints at the same time. It's such a genius exercise, reach. So is your shop open, Mira? Can somebody come and get these for me? Or how long does it take to get them sent? Can you tell Jules, because I can't see the screen, because I'm doing the cloth. Jules, have I got time to go and get my, my chives before I go away? Right, we've got two minutes to go, so we're gonna just finish up now. One more stretch. Goodness me, I don't know where this hour goes. Talk about time flies when you're having fun. This class was supposed to be a half hour class, can I just say, when we started it. And now, uh, right, well, Mira will buy it. Don't worry, I don't expect you to send it to me. I'm very happy to pay for it. Right, Oof. please tap everybody. I've left it as usual. I'm wanging on for so much time. Oh, thank you, Jules. Can you help me sort it out, please? Get Amanda on the case. I need my tie now. You created an addiction. Thank you all so much for joining. Jasmine's got her soundscape at lunchtime. I think, I hope so. She's, she, she doesn't seem to stop doing it. Um, and I've got lunchtime meditation, I've got one minute left, so please tap your bodies, guys. It's so important to just get all that lovely energy into the body. If you're lying down, just use the tops of your fingers like this. Just sit. And the more at this end of the things that you are where you need to rest, the more you need to work on the breath and the vibration and the tapping, all right? And you'll slowly but surely work you through. Thank you so much, everybody. Yeah, we do. We need to, I think, like, we need to have a... We need to do a live feed mirror so we can talk about this. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. Right, I must go, We're gonna, I'm gonna get cut off. Thank you all so much, have a lovely day. See you all at lunchtime.